Taurus. I'm Anisha. To know more about my work, you may visit my website www.tarabayanisha.com. For those of you who are seeking deeper clarity, be it in your love lives or your career, for a personal consultation, you may write to me at tarabayanisha at gmail.com. Taurians, it's yet another quietly volatile month, if there's such a thing. We still have Mars that is retrograde and we have Mercury that is going retrograde towards the end of July and it carries on being retrograde till about 20th of August. So there's a, there's a message this month which is release, let go, surrender, accept and uh, let things take their own course. Don't fight so much Torrens, it's quite alright. Let me break down the month for you. On the 7th, we have Venus and she moves into your house of work, your day-to-day -day chores and your health. And it's a lovely time when Venus comes into this house because it's a slightly boring house. Try and do things that make you happy and that has to do with your work. So maybe make, make your workplace a little bit more cheerful. Put things that make you happy around there. Maybe a plant, maybe photographs of loved ones. Just make it something cheerful and happy and also try and do projects or involve yourself in projects which give you a lot of satisfaction. This house is also all about health so it's a great time to be taking charge of your health. It's a great time to be watching your diet, maybe changing it completely. I think it's perfectly great to be vegetarian to, or even be vegan though can be slightly tough finding the right things that you want to eat but I think with a little bit of practice it's really not that hard. Have a look at your health regime, your exercise regime, what is it that you're working out, what is it that's working, maybe a certain exercise that you're doing really tires you out and it's um, and even though there's a sense of that you're doing something but you're not having the desired results. This is a time of maybe doing something, a workout, maybe a dance form of workout, something that you really in joy and energizes you. On the 11th we have a solar eclipse new moon that is there in your house of home and it is joining Sun and Mercury. So this speaks about new beginnings as far as home is concerned Taurians. A lot of you are going to be moving, a lot of you are going to be either moving houses, renovating them and in some cases you could also be leaving the country and this has to do um, uh, this is specifically so because the energy, the planetary, the eclipse energy lasts about six months. So, you know, it will keep panning out for the next couple of months as well for you. So you could find yourself either house hunting, renovating, buying, leasing or even shifting, like I said, to a completely new place, a city, country that could be there. Uh, this also concerns your mother. So in certain cases, some of you could be worried about the health of a uh, of your mum or you could be having your mum come and stay with you, you could be thinking of maybe spending some time and she seems to be having a lot of influence on your uh, decisions around this time. On the 13th we have Mars that goes further back into Capricorn, it's already retrograde and uh, it is there in your house of travel and uh, it is also the house of uh, expansion of the mind, meeting with uh, people from different cultures, ethnicities and um, maybe during this time that you will revisit somebody whom you knew uh, from the past and uh, this is also uh, a time that um, you could be getting together with uh, friends whom you used to hang around with earlier way back and they just sort of come back into your life. It's a great time to be studying, it's a great time to be doing that course that you've been thinking about. It's a wonderful time to be traveling as well to all the places that you have, uh, uh, maybe not all, but uh, you know, a few places that you have thought of that you really wanted to travel. So it's a brilliant time to be traveling as well. Uh, Torian's a very important message for you because you, know, you, you tend to be really fixed and um, rigid about certain belief systems but this is really a, a month of releasing it's a month of surrender you know, don't get into there are no points to be proven there is uh, nothing that you really need to be um, standing and justifying so 
let nature uh, do its thing and enjoy it along with it. See, I mean, you the surprise may just sort of uh, be extremely pleasant. On the 20th, we have, thank heavens, Mercury, and uh, she's going direct. And uh, of course, in the first uh, three weeks of August, you need to be extremely careful about not buying anything, not investing into anything, big ticket item. It's a, not a great time to be um, getting into heavy duty negotiations. It's a not good, great time to be doing some really detailed planning around travel as well. Uh, for the simple reason that you may not have enough information. It's not that the sky will fall on your head. But uh, Mercury retrograde has a way of creating uh, confusion about information, lack of clarity. And you, know, you could just feel as you pushed into taking a decision which you're not too happy about, about which you lack a certain clarity. So just hang on to the 20th and uh, go ahead and then do all the planning and buying that you want to do. On the 24th, we have Sun, and that is uh, moving into your house of love, romance, creativity, children. And it's a lovely time to be starting a new business, starting a new romance. In certain cases, you could just be falling in love with your partner again. And in some cases, it could be absolutely somebody new. Um, it's a great time to be doing a pet loved project. Maybe some of you have been thinking of being involved with an animal shelter and you find yourself maybe making one of your own maybe collaborating with somebody and just uh, giving shelter to uh, stray animals and in, in in some cases it can also be that you are um, your you know maybe there's a, a book that you've been thinking of writing and the ideas have been there and this is the finally the time that you manage to get your script out and write it down and maybe find a publisher so a great time to be doing things which is uh, you know which are all around love passion things that really move you from inside and also there could be some good news in the family as well on the 26th we have a full moon which is there in the house of uh, your work reputation so it could be that a certain project or in certain cases even a job that is coming to an end and um, of course, it's it's not going to be all of a sudden, you know, that out of the blue you come to know. It has been there in the pipeline, and now it gets announced during this time. And uh, you, and it, because it's joining Neptune over here, so it speaks about trusting your intuition. It speaks about really listening to yourself towards around this time. So maybe if it is regarding a huge decision that you need to be making around your work, I think listen to yourself. It's very very important, and of course do take an informed decision do speak with people as well who are in the similar field but uh do listen to your intuition because neptune is all about connecting with your higher self it's one thing very very intuitive and uh, um, this work also for some of you wherein that you have the sun moon and rising uh, in, in taurus as well it could just be an ideal work um, maybe you know you are moving to another country, another place, and you're doing this work which you only dreamt of. You know, it, it's uh, your passion which is turned into the work and you're really getting paid for it. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, Torians. I'll see you again soon. And thank you so much for watching.